Okay, hi year 10. Um, I'm going to try and do a video lesson, which is kind of weird, but um, I'm hoping that it's going to help you. Um, some of you are working solidly week in, week out, and are producing some amazing work at home, but others I just haven't heard from, um, which obviously I'm a bit worried about. I hope that you're all okay. Um, but really, you are in... A very important position in the sense that you are the next GCSE cohort. The examining boards haven't released any information yet about your year group and as we're a coursework subject um, I'm just a little bit worried. Um, those of you that aren't submitting because that means that your grades could be drastically reduced. Um, you were all off to an amazing start before lockdown um, so I just don't want the time at home to kind of um, like reduce grades obviously I don't really know what's going to happen but please just be submitting work on a weekly basis and trying to get things up to date. Um, I'm going to go through some things that I've already submitted on show my homework so the resources are there already um, but I just want you to think about um, what you can do at home and how you can develop your project. So what you should have completed so far is your Ackerman research page development linking to Ackerman and your final piece and know that final pieces might not be able to be completed um, at home don't worry we'll be able to do that once back in school okay the next thing is that you want to do a development page this is the same as always but what you want to be thinking about is what it was that you enjoyed about Ackerman what you want to kind of continue with and how you are going to push your project further um, remember that your project should always link together so it should be like a journey I know that's really cheesy but what I mean by that is that it should flow so you should be reflecting on previous work to push your next set of work forward um, maybe you didn't like Ackerman so it's now your opportunity to change that um, but I just still want it to link in the sense of something more general like colour line the idea of a world. Worlds look totally different depending on what you, your viewpoint, your angle. So something loose like that could still be a starting point. Okay. Um, I have included some things that I've done um, just to kind of help you. So this is my developments page. It's done on a computer. So that's something you might want to do at home. Um, and what I've done is I've reflected on previous work. So I want to experiment more with media and materials. When I looked at Ackerman, I only used paint. This time I want to use um, collage and some more quick drawing styles. Um, previously, I was inspired by shape and colour. Again, that's really vague and really loose. So there's loads of artists that look at shape and colour. I've done that on purpose. So I'm giving my, my new project a bit more scope. Um, maybe I want to think about something a bit more deeper so a deeper theme or deeper context and I want to be inspired by what's around me and what I find in everyday life again I'm doing that because it's accessible to me at the moment my artist I am um, that I want to choose I Sigma Polka I really like his use of layers um, and use of line um, I also like Albert Irving's work and Elia Hussain's work it's just simple shape colour layering these are also things that i think i can do at home with the resources that i've got so the next thing that i did was i went around my house and took pictures of things that i thought were inspiring i know that we're limited in what we can do so i just use things that i um had available to me if we weren't in lockdown i probably would have gone for something more visually exciting but what can we do we just have to use what's around us I then drew from these images, so this is the image that I looked at and I did four studies from it. Maybe not the best, but again, we're using what's around us. Um, I did one that was maybe more detailed, one just looking at line, then experimenting with media and materials and layering. I then developed these, so this is what you need to do. You've got your initial photography, you've got some quick initial studies, and then you're going to develop. So I focused on an abstract sense inspired by Sigma Polka, Albert Irving, Elia Hussain. 
and I produced some more experimental drawings. Now I have set this on showing my homework already. You might want to time yourself and just say, right, I'm gonna do 10 drawings a minute each. I'm gonna draw with my left hand. I'm gonna only use these ranges of colors, okay? I did not spend hours on these, maybe an hour on the three in total, maybe two hours actually in total. Um, I tried to use a range of media and materials. I actually reflected on previous work. So my work previously, I liked using charcoal and I liked this kind of wiggly line aspect. And I also really liked this. So I then thought about that and developed it into something new. So although I took loads of pictures, I actually was mainly inspired by this one here and I've produced how many is that? Seven drawings just from the one photograph. So that's again something that you can do at home. I then thought about which ones I liked the most and I said that these two were what I enjoyed and then I developed it on again by editing the images. Remember, use your computers, use apps on your phone, anything that you can do to develop it that next step further is going to be really useful. Um, so these, as I've just said, some different ideas of what you can look at. Um, the other thing that I sat on showing my homework was some photography projects. You all have a phone, I'm pretty sure about that, minus the odd person, so use your phone to your advantage. With this, again, document your ideas, so make a plan. What are your aims for the shoot? Who are your inspiration? Your inspiration does not need to be a photographer. It could be an artist. It could be someone on Instagram. I really don't care. I just want you to do the work. Um, again, trying times. Inspiration, though, is everywhere. It could be something simple that you're sat having your tea and the light is shining nicely on the wall. You could take a picture of that and then draw from it. It really, really is about using what's around us at the moment. I've put on here to take 30 to uh, 50 pictures. The reason I'm doing that is because as you can see in this one here in the Bowie shoe, it's really something simple as documenting movement. So that's why you might need to take 30 pictures in order to document the whole range of movement. It's also so that you can experiment and try out different ideas. Um, you can also use by holding down on your phone and using burst um, to get more of a range of photography within your work. Um, I set to be inspired by your surroundings, so looking at things like the pavement, looking at things dropping onto the floor, obviously ask parents, ask carers, make sure that you can do that and also health and safety and things, but it could also be playing catch with someone. It could be documenting your bedroom every day for a week. It could be looking at reflections on the floor. Again, inspiration, looking at the body of the self. We've got eyes, we've got movement, shadows, staging something, focusing on certain aspects. You could photograph passing something to someone else. Using everyday objects, so fruit, vegetables, flowers, photographing meals, linking to your family, shopping bags, creating your own compositions, watching something decay, rot, melt. And then I also set some experimental drawings. So the idea behind all of this is experimentation. Remember that is AO2, I think. So I can remember off the top of my head. So that is still part of your assessment criteria and it is still part of um, what artists do every day. Um, so if I just go back, if we think about all of this work, you can still create a huge body of work from home. The way that you are going to do that is through drawing and it is through photography. I know that some of you don't have materials at home, but I'm pretty sure all of you will have a pencil. So experiment with that. Do 10 drawings for a minute, then do some really refined drawings take pictures on your phone, take pictures of yourself, other people, what's around you, what about when you go for a walk, you need to get out of the house, walking is an amazing way to do that, so maybe you document your walk every day for a week, 
also the theme structures it is a very broad theme you want to link to previous work but equally could you maybe do something on corona and COVID-19 and the impacts of self-isolation or the impacts it's had on your, you and your family and the people around you you should be drawing on ideas and you should be drawing on what's going on in the present day don't worry too much if maybe you're fed up with structures and want to do something totally different um i would say try and link it but again i'm gonna be kind of sympathetic in the sense of what is accessible to you at home is going to be different to what's accessible to me and your friend and someone down the road so again bear that in mind for this week, those of you that are up to date, I want you to focus on acting on feedback and refining your drawing. So trying to make something more refined, more developed to show that um, triangle, as I always go on about, working towards a final piece. Um, the next page, I have got some student work that has been submitted so far. Thank you to those people that are submitting, but also this is some inspiration for the rest of you. So we've got using um, images from the internet, looking at the body and movement, looking at what's around us, artist research as well you can be doing, and then using everyday objects to draw from. Remember editing photography. I know I'm maybe repeating myself here, um, but they are going to be what will allow you to get a high mark. Um, so be creative and just be documenting your time at home. I really hope that that has helped. Um, it's, yeah, kind of awkward speaking into your computer with no one around. Um, but I'm just trying to think of ways that I can help you in any way I can. Please comment and let me know if this video was helpful. Um, let me know if you're struggling, let me know if you need any ideas, literally anything, um, just comment. Okay, well I hope you're all well and I'll speak to you soon.